Hello everyone, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. You're looking at the Lycoming O233 in a new model from American Legend called the Super Legend. The basic Legend Cub has a 100 horsepower Continental O200, but the Lycoming O233 offers a 15 horsepower upgrade to 115 horsepower. While that's not an enormous increase in power, it's transformative for the Super Legend because the airplane also has flaps and a redesigned elevator. Anyone familiar with Piper's Super Cub would immediately recognize these changes because the Super Legend is essentially a modern Super Cub. The O233 is really just a lightened version of the O235 used in the Cessna 152, but it has one tech trick. Instead of magnetos, it has an electronic ignition system powered by both the ship's electrical system and a permanent magnet alternator. The engine is mounted on a centerline thrust mount which improves performance slightly. Like the Legend, the Super Legend is basic rag and tube construction, but it has been significantly modernized and improved through CNC cut tubing and TIG welded fuselages. For cabin comfort and improved crash worthiness, Legend made the cabin 3 inches wider. While the basic Legend has no flaps and a tail section similar to the original Cub, the Super Legend has one third span flaps and the Super Cub's so called aerodynamic elevator. That means that the outer leading edge of the elevator extends forward of the hinge line. This greatly improves pitch feel and makes the airplane impressively comfortable at low air speeds. Speaking of comfort, the Super Legend we flew had an innovative bungee seat that's both lighter and more comfortable than the seat design it replaces. Legend has also redesigned the panel to provide more knee room on either side of the panel's center. The Super Legend's performance is noticeably better than the original Legend, Although the 15 additional horsepower doesn't bump the cruise up much, climb and slow flight are exceptional. Figure on cruise speeds around 90 miles per hour. After taking off from Legend Sulphur Springs, Texas home airport, we tried some slow flight stalls clean and with full flaps. Stalls take some doing because the airplane is so docile. As you can see, the airspeed indicator dipped to below 30 miles per hour indicated before we felt the slightest buffet. Even then, Legend's Darren Hart told us that the tail stalls first, not the wing. Throughout this maneuvering, pitch forces remain relatively consistent with no need for big trim excursions. This characteristic pays off on approach and landings. With full flaps, the Super Legend naturally wants to fly at about 50 miles per hour indicated. You have to work at it to fly much faster. This means that touchdowns, either wheelies or three-pointers, happen at a much reduced energy state, so the likelihood of serious bounces is lower. Further, even in the three-point attitude, you can see over the nose from the front seat. This makes the Super Legend one of the most satisfying and fun tail draggers we've flown. The Super Legend will soon be available as a kit. In experimental form, its max gross weight can be as much as 1,650 pounds, more than 300 pounds higher than the LSA version. It can also accommodate as much as 180 horsepower. For a full report on the Super Legend, see the October 2012 issue of Aviation Consumer. I'm Paul Bertarelli. Thanks for watching.